Hey there, it's Rachel again. I um, just wanted to give you the intro to this uh, macrame watercolor combination put together thing that I kind of did. Um, in the kit, you are actually gonna receive the pieces for the moon and there is an inner and an outer piece that may have become separated for you, but that's totally fine. Just put it back together. A star, all the watercolors that you'll need, and some string. The string that you're getting is much better than the string that I used for the macrame. Honestly, the string that I used is kind of, um, it wasn't that great. It's a, it's a little bit more coarse. What you're getting is gonna be softer cotton string, so it'll be nicer. This uh, project is pretty simple. You will require your own glue to glue these down. You can use anything from Elmer's glue to actual wood glue. Both of them will work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did the painting, and then I'll show you a quick version of how I did the macrame. This is not technically macrame. Honestly, all I did was connect this and then do braids. If you are practiced in macrame, you can make this look really, really nice. I'd love to see the pictures for it. Um, I didn't go into too much depth about the macrame portion, but you really can jazz it up with that if you want to. And then don't forget the little hanger up at the top. Okay, let's skip to the next part. So I got started putting a background of really dark blue. Now the watercolors that you get have been undiluted, so they are very strong and they look really dark on the wood. And then I added in some multiple colors. Now I like to do a lot of colors with clouds because clouds are made of water and water has all the colors of the rainbow in it. So I did the clouds, I put some little uh, highlights on them and then I added in stars. I just did a yellow and white mixture color for the moon and then I decided it was kind of boring so I added in some darker colors and then I did just straight yellow for the star so that I could see the pattern on it and then I just touched up the tips with a little bit of white for the macrame portion I just attached the string to the bottom portion being very careful that I didn't pull it too hard and then I braided every other uh, three strands and knotted the strands in between that um, if you take a look at how many you have you can kind of get an idea of how you can put that together but it doesn't have to be any specific way and like I said before any type of macrame will look good on this. And then I touched up a little bit of the star, glued everything down. This is what I ended up with. Okay, now that you're done, I hope you enjoyed this. Please let us know. And if you have any questions, please reply down below. Um, let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see or any other projects like this that you'd like to do. If anybody wants to go into greater depth about macrame, I will be teaching a class about macrame pretty soon. I just got to get it developed and then we'll get those kits out soon as well. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.